that is opening a new location just for dinner. The Smoky Moth is open at the Sleepy Bees College Hill location. And executive chef Franny Croner is here to show some of the new menu items. Congratulations on the new place. I love the old place. Thank I love you. the Sleepy Bee. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're really excited about the new location. It is on Hamilton Avenue in a neighborhood that I, you know, have grew up in. Yeah, and so, so many good things are happening in College yes, Hill. That's it's great. really exciting. So what made you want to go into the dinner, the dinner scene? So honestly, it's for the neighborhood. So mm -hmm. I as I said, I grew up there. I grew up in Northside and College Hill, and we wanted to do something a little different for okay. this neighborhood. Um, we also are trying some new uh, sustainability efforts. So it's an oh, all electric nice. cooking line, but we wanted to add some real fire somewhere in the kitchen. So we have a wood fired oven. So it kind of was a, a pull of a lot of different reasons, but we were really excited to have it and to offer it to the community. Okay. And you've been, I mean, you've been working on sustainability the whole time you've been open, right? With yes, Sleepy correct. Bee. Yeah. Natural, you know, local ingredients, that sort of thing. Yeah. But tell me about the concept of the Smoky Moth. Yes. I love the name. Thank you. So we do have a wood fired oven. So we have flatbreads and mm -hmm. we have um, a handful of appetizers and entrees, something for everyone. Definitely still the, the sleepy bee ethos for food. So lots of gluten free, lots of vegan, mm. um, you know, just think something for everyone on the menu. So, um, okay. So what are you making for yeah. us, Franny? Yeah, today I'm making a shermoula. So we are all about the a sauce. What? Shermoula. Shermoula. Shermoula I've is never a sauce. I've heard of that. Uh, it, it originates from North Africa. Um, and Ooh. we are all about the sauce at the Sleepy Bee and the Smoky Moth. So I'm going to show you how to prepare this okay. one. Uh, it starts with uh, two tablespoons or two teaspoons of uh, toasted cumin and coriander, a teaspoon of salt, zest from three lemons, and mm. half a cup of raw garlic. Oh, yum. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and scoop that in the bowl here. Um, then we've got a ah cup and a half of olive oil and half a cup of fresh lemon juice. We go ahead and Yum. pour that in. And we're just gonna give this a little stir and get it all emulsified, really mix in those spices and make sure they're well blended. It smells really good already. Yeah. I love those seasonings. Very yeah. bright, uh, fragrant sauce. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a cup and a half of chopped cilantro. Actually, sorry, two and a half cups. Okay, that's all right. Same with we'll put it on the website parsley. too. Yeah. Two and a half cups, and then a cup of chopped mint. Yum. So this sauce is awesome because you can really, you can marinate steak, you can oh. cook fish in it. Um, we use it to top our flatbreads and our chicken thighs, and sometimes our salmon dish. We have a, a dish that rotates constantly with the oh, good. with our fish. Yeah. All right. Um, what are some of the other things that you're doing on the menu? Yeah. So we've got um, a, a chicken thigh entree um, and a terrarium, which is our vegan and vegetarian entree. So as you can see, this sauce here, it's, it's very textured. Um, yeah. With any herb sauce, you can decide your texture. So we could put this in a blender and make it super creamy. We leave it a little bit uh, more like a topping a salad to sprinkle on things and to, to give a bright uh, crunch to the dishes. Wow, okay, so you're gonna put that on some bread or some pasta, either one, or? I mean, yeah, we, I, I brought these as kind of uh, options for folks. Okay, you can for toss what a you can do. With it. Yeah. You can toss it, you can make a cold pasta salad, that would be really Ooh, great yeah. for this warmer season that's sometimes showing up on random days. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We're up. It would have been great yesterday know, exactly. on a warm day, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think on the bread would be good for a chilly gray day. That exactly. sounds like a good comfort yes. food. Yes, you can even stir it into soups, mm. um, and it adds a, a lot of, of, lot of uh, brightness. To okay, them, so, yeah. so I'm going to put a little on some bread, and now yeah. you tell me all the deets. Like, where are you yeah. over in College Hill? Yes, yeah, so hours, all that good stuff. Yeah, of course. So we're in the College Hill Sleepy Bee. So this okay. is the Sleepy Bee transforms to Smoky Moth mm. Wednesdays to Saturdays, okay. um, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mm. Um, and you can come. It's very family friendly. We've got little toy sections for the kids and oh, stuff good. like that. It is a BYOB restaurant, so folks can bring their own alcohol. We do have glassware. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to use styrofoam. You don't that sounds fantastic, Randy. Yeah, Congratulations so. on the new place. Thank you. Thank you so much. And continued success with Sleepy Bee as well. I, I appreciate it. Thank the you. The Smoky Moth. Go see Franny and the good folks over there. This is delicious. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. We have more coming up in just a moment. Now, if you want to attend, you can switch.